Hi travelers, my name is Nikita, I'm from Russia. I know that many of you want to visit this country. I want to help you, make your trip exciting, safe and interesting. Let's go! Welcome to St. Petersburg! If you travel by plane, you arrive at airport Pulkova. The best thing you should do in terminal to get some of the local currency ruble. You need them to get to the city. Don't exchange too much, about 2000 rubles. Next thing you should do is to buy a local SIM card. A cheap price for local calls and internet you can get with a Tele2 SIM card. The price is good and the quality is fine. There are two ways to get to the city from the airport, by taxi or by public transport. So you want to go by taxi. You can order it at the taxi desk outside the terminal. Or you can order a taxi through the apps. Get taxi, Yandex, Uber, Bolt, taxi which code. Or you can call 3300000 taxi which code or use taxiwitchkov.com and it will cost you 1000 1500 rubles that's the service that i always use warning please do not use the service of the private drivers they charge much more just ignore them no thank you if you want to go by public transport it will be cheaper there is a bus stop at the terminal. You should take the bus number 39 or 39 Express. The cost is 40 rubles. You need Russian cash to buy a bus ticket. We can do it right inside the bus. There is a special person who will come up to sell a ticket to you. The bus takes you directly to Moskovska metro station. That's where you should get off and turn right. If you don't like going on the ground, you can change to another bus, bus number 3. It's cost 40 rubles. It will also take you to the city center Nevsky Prospect. The metro station Moskovska is situated on the ground. At the station you should buy a token. It costs 45 rubles. It is valid for one trip by metro. No time or station limit. You can get a token at the ticket office or a token machine. You can pay by car or Russian cash. The blue line takes you straight to the city center, Nevsky Prospect. The navigation signs and the names of the stops are both in Russian and in English. If you arrive at Vitebsky train station, by the way, it's the first train station of the city. You get to the city center. From here you can walk to your destination or you can use the public transport or get a taxi there are no spots to get a cheaper sim for the internet but you can buy it later in the city atm is at the exit from the train station and also at the entrance to the metro station
Transport train station is situated right at the heart of the city center. From this point you can walk to most of the city attraction and to your accommodation. If it's in the area or use the public transport or a taxi, if you prefer. In the hall of the train station you can buy a cheap SIM for calls and internet tele2 and find an ATM to get some local cash. There is a tunnel in the middle of the hall that will take you to the metro station or to the city. There, at the bus stop, you can take a bus number 3. It goes along the Nevsky Prospect. Or you can go to another bus stop. There, you will find more buses and trolleybuses. Finlandsky train station is situated also within the center area. If you have a wish to walk, it will take time, but you will enjoy the view crossing the bridge. Tele2 mobile service is at the exit. Don't forget to get some cash rubles. Metro station, taxi and public transport choose what you prefer. Ladersky train station. In the main hall you will find mobile service and ATM. The metro station and public transport stops are one level down. So you need to go all the way down the gallery to get there. The best ways to go this city center are by metro or take trolleybus number 22. If you arrive at the city bus station, you can order a taxi with a taxi apps. Or you can walk 10 minutes to the metro station or a bus stop and take a bus number 3. It goes to the city center Nevsky Hospital. In the hall of the metro station, you will find an ATM to get some local cash. You need it if you want to use the bus. And there is a tele mobile service at the metro station. If you travel by sea, you can arrive at the old port or new port. In the building of the old port, you can find an ATM and currency exchange office. There are no mobile service spots, so if you need a taxi, you better download a taxi apps in advance. If you might want to walk to the bus stops, it will take about 10-15 minutes.
new port is new C terminal. Here you can find an ATM and a taxi service. The nearest metro station is Primorskaya. Take the bus number 158. It travels every 30 minutes. Or you can walk 50 minutes to another bus stop and take a trolley bus number 11 or bus number 7. They go to the city center Nevsky Prospect. I really hope that you find this information helpful. Tell about our channel to people who are on the way at the moment. Hey, check out the useful links below the video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a nice day!